Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Jada Toys Mega Man. And I'm really excited about this figure, not only because it looks like a really fun figure, but on top of that, Jada Toys has just been killing it with every single one of their releases. They're definitely one of the best companies when it comes to action figures in this price range, you know, like the $20 to $25 price range. They're killing it, man. They are doing things better than most of their competitors. So yeah, they've got some awesome stuff going on. So I've been really looking forward to this figure. But let's go ahead and get into it starting off with the packaging through the window here you are able to see Mega Man along with the accessories that he comes with up top it says Mega Man down here we get some cool looking Mega Man artwork on the side we have that old school like pixelated artwork of Mega Man that is super cool and then on the back we get a look at the other figures that came out alongside Mega Man we have Fireman and Iceman. Iceman is a whole lot of fun. Recently, I was at Designer Con and Chaney from Toy Migos was out there and he had the Iceman figure. He let me play around with it and man, I was very impressed. That thing is, is awesome. So I can't wait to get him and I'm sure Fireman is gonna be just as good as the other two. Over here we have some more of that old school pixelated art and that's about it for the packaging. I think he looks really cool in there. I like the artwork and the design and stuff. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get Mega Man out and take a look. All right, so right out of the box, Mega Man is looking really, really nice. As you can see, Jada Toys really did a great job on this guy. The sculpting work is really well done. The paint work is clean. The articulation is awesome. And the figure just looks really, really good. I love the different like finishes on the, the helmet, the gloves, and the boots compared to the rest of the body. I think that's cool and it adds a little bit of depth to the entire look. I like the different shades of blue that we have on there. That looks really nice. And yeah, man, I think this is a great looking figure. I really like the design they went with too, you know? Because to me, this is like the quintessential Mega Man. There's all kinds of different versions of this character with different variations of his armor and his suit and everything like that. But for me, I just wanted... I just wanted a version of Mega Man that's accurate to the way that I see the character in my mind And I think this figure does that really well. I'm not like the biggest Mega Man fan or anything I like the character, but you know, it's not really one of those characters that I'd be down to buy like the most Obscure versions of you know, I just want a plain cool looking Mega Man that Represents the way that I see the character and I think this figure does that perfectly And you know another thing I like about this is that it kind of seems like he's inspired by the animated series version of Mega Man, you know? Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but when I see this figure, I automatically think of that version of the character. And I think that works really well, you know, because Jada Toys has been killing it when it comes to like the more cartoony looking figures. Um, they've been able to do some really incredible things as far as like the sculpt and the articulation, and I think that Mega Man is no different. So yeah, Jada Toys, man, continue they just continue to kill it with every single figure that they do, no matter like what type of franchise, video games, weird ass like <laughs> cereals and snacks and all that kind of stuff. Jada Toys just takes these really weird like body styles and turns them into fun figures. And then as far as the detail work goes, Jada Toys did a great job with it. It's very well sculpted and the paint work is all very clean and well applied. Starting off at the head, you could see that the paint on the face is very crisp and clean. I don't see any imperfections in there, which which is very nice. I like how he has the very small mouth and the big eyes. It does feel very much like an anime character and I think that Jada Toys captures that aesthetic very well. So yeah, the face is really, really clean and the rest of the head looks good too. Obviously he does have his helmet on. Back here we have a little bit of red on the earpiece that looks good and then on the top of the head he does have like his mohawk <laughs> type of thing. So that's a very cool design and yeah, Jada Toys did a great job with it. And then moving down to the body, he does have a gray neck piece. And then the rest of the figure is blue. And I like how there's different shades of blue in there, you know. It kind of fades from light to dark seamlessly, and it looks really, really nice. And then the forearms, the underwear, and the boots all kind of have like a shine to them. And then the rest of the figure is kind of like matte finish, you know, so that's cool. Oh, the helmet has like a shine to it too, so that matches like the, the forearms and the boots, so... That looks really cool. But yeah, as you can see, it's very simple, but it looks good, man. It's all very clean and really well done. Ooh, got some more red down here at the bottom of the feet. That's nice. But aside from that, you know, not a whole lot of crazy details. Just a very smooth looking character. And the paint is pretty much perfect throughout. I mean, there are some tiny like imperfections in there, but nothing major, you know. For the most part, everything is really clean and extremely well done. So yeah, Jada Toys, 
really did a great job on capturing the animated aesthetic of the character and they really did some nice work with the sculpting and the paint and everything you know obviously the character kind of has like a simple design or this version you know it's pretty simple it's just a a blue little guy with the big head but i think jada toys did a really nice job with it made it look really good and yeah i think it's a great looking figure and Mega Man does come with some dope accessories, including an alternate head sculpt. So in addition to the one that we've already looked at, he also gets this really angry looking head sculpt. And I think this is awesome. This came out really good. Just like the previous head sculpt, the paintwork on it is very clean. Everything is crisp. I don't see like any imperfections. I think it looks really good. And it's a very cool looking facial expression to include for the character. So now you have the option to have them all pissed off or just happy and just hanging out. So I think that works really well for Mega Man. And then he does get two sets of hands. First off, we have a pair of fists. And then he does come with a set of open hands, although these are different from each other. The one on the left is just like your flat open hand. And then on his right side, it's like a cuffed open hand. And then of course he does come with his Mega Buster. And this is really dope. It plugs in right there on the forearm and you could put it on either side. And as you can see, this looks really cool. We've got the red on the barrel area and then like the uh, power gauge kind of set up on the side. So yeah, this is really dope. I love that he has that. Obviously, you know, that's an essential thing for Mega Man. But the thing that makes it really cool is the fact that it comes with this little effect as well. So you could kind of set this up to make it look like he's shooting it. And that's going to be awesome for display. And it does come on this like stand that has like the... Uh, the hinged joints on it so yeah this is going to be a very cool display piece and it's also going to be useful for photos and i hope with uh, future mega man figures they give like more effects i'd like to get like a big crazy green one i think that'd be a lot of fun but yeah man this is dope i like this a lot all right, so now for some size comparisons. Here we have Mega Man alongside the Jada Toy Street Fighter Ryu and the Jada Toy Street Fighter Fei Long. And yeah, man, Jada Toys has been on a rampage this year. They've been killing it with everything they put out. So I can't wait to see what else they do. They've kind of been giving hints, like <laughs> a different franchise they may be tackling pretty soon. So I can't wait to see how this stuff all works out because so far they've been killing it and I'm sure they're gonna do a good job on whatever franchises they take over in the future. Oh man, this looks awesome right here. Even though I'm not like a big video game guy, I love having all these classic, iconic video game characters together. I think they look really dope standing next to each other on the shelf. And yeah, man, this is this is great right here. So what we have on the left is the Jake specific, or is it Jax specific? I don't know. I, I never I always get that name wrong. But that's the movie Mario. On the opposite side, we have Figma Link. And come to think of it, Jada Toys would do a great job with Zelda figures. I think they would kill it with Link, man. Hopefully they get around to that. But for now, I have this Figma one and I absolutely love it. And he, and he looks good next to, you know, these domestic figures, especially the Jada Toys stuff. Next up, we have them alongside the Storm Collectibles Thunderhead and the Jada Toys Chester Cheetah. And then, of course, here he is alongside the Marvel Legends Renew Your Vows Spider-Man and the Marvel Legends Bucky Cat. And then for some Marvel vs. Capcom action, here we have them alongside the Revil Tech Cable with the custom head from Custom Chef on Instagram. I'll leave a link to his page in the description below. On the opposite side, we have the Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Wolverine. And then next up, we have Mega Man alongside the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Usagi Yojimbo and the NECA Animated Series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael. And then here we have him alongside the G.I. Joe Classified Firefly and a Star Wars Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper. And then for the final size comparison, here we have Mega Man alongside the SH Figure Arts Lightyear Buzz Lightyear and the Jada Toys Universal Monsters Invisible Man. And I know that Jada Toys has kind of moved on to bigger and better things, but I'll always love what they did with the Universal Monsters. They gave us super articulated versions of those classic characters, and they really killed it on every single one, you know? Like, I don't think I dislike any of them. All of them are well done, especially Wolfman, Creature from the Black Lagoon, and my personal favorite monster, the Invisible Man. So, yeah. And then as far as the articulation goes, Jada Toys has already proven that they're able to do some great things when it comes to like unique body styles. We've seen what they've been able to do with the brand mascots and just like them, Mega Man has a whole lot of articulation and he's crazy fun to play around with. So I'm happy with what we have going on here, but let's go ahead and take a look starting off at the head. So he does have a hinge at the lower neck and a hinge at the upper neck. So using both of those, he's able to look down a really nice amount. <laughs> look at that, that's super good. 
and then he's able to look up a really nice amount as well and then he's able to look side to side on the top ball joint and we also get some really nice tilt action for some attitude shots you know that's always nice and the lower neck joint does not swivel at all you can't swivel right there all we have is the hinge but that's okay I think there's some really good movement at the head and the neck here so I'm happy with what's going on there and then for the torso he does have a diaphragm cut and then a ball joint at the waist using both of those he could crunch forward to about right there which is pretty good and if you bring his head down a little bit you kind of give the illusion that he's crunching even more <laughs> so that's nice and then he can also swivel from that diaphragm cut he could also swivel from the waist and then we get some side to side action so yeah good stuff here at the torso yeah they did a good job with that and then for the arms they're able to go all the way around and then you could bring them up to the side to about right there which is nice that's pretty good there And I really like the way they did the shoulders. Obviously, there's no butterfly joint because the figure is probably too small for that. But they left enough space right here to where you could get the arms in front of him a really nice amount. And that's definitely going to be helpful for, you know, punching poses and things like that. You could get his arm in front of him. Yeah, so that's dope. I like how they did that. And then he does have single jointed elbows that bend to right there so that's a pretty decent range then for the wrist he has a hinge oh sorry he has a swivel <laughs> and then a hinge and having that hinge in there helps with the overall you know arm articulation it kind of gives the illusion that there's more articulation there than there really is you know because you because you have like the single joint at the elbow and then the wrist kind of helping everything look more curled you know so that's nice. And then for the legs, he's able to kick forward to about right there. Damn. That's nice. Can go back to about right there, which, you know, that's okay. But then it starts to kind of flare out a little bit. But then kicking to the side, look at that. Pow. Man, I love the way this neck hinge area works. Look at that. Boom. That's dope. So really nice movement here at the legs. And then he does have upper thigh swivel, I think. Yeah, he does, upper thigh swivel. And then he has a single joint at the knee, which gets a really good bend. Look at that, boom. Oh man, th this is such a dynamic looking figure. Anything you do with it, it just looks cool. But yeah, we've got some nice movement there at the knee even though it is a single joint it's looking pretty damn good sorry i'm getting distracted playing around with it but yeah a single jointed knee that goes to about right there which is nice and then he also has a swivel right here at the knee and then for the foot he's got like rocking ankles that are able to go forward to right there they could come up to right there and then as i said they rock back and forth so yeah man like i said even though he's got a very small and unique body style Jada Toys has been able to put some crazy articulation into guys like this, and I think that Mega Man is definitely one of the most fun Jada Toys figures that I've played around with. Um, he's just so small and cool, but they're, they were able to fit so much in there, you know? So much articulation, such a high fun factor. Yeah, they killed it with the articulation. Alrighty, so overall, at the end of the day, when the smoke clears, the dust settles, and it's all said and done, I think that Mega Man came out awesome. Once again, Jada Toys absolutely killed it. This is a really great figure. It's a whole lot of fun. It's got some great articulation. It's impressive because Jada Toys has pretty much shown that they've mastered fitting articulation into these weird body styles, you know? Like with Chester Cheetah, they were able to do a lot of really great things, made a really fun figure, and the same thing goes for Mega Man. He's a very small figure, but Jada Toys was able to fit in a lot of articulation and do things in a clever way so that everything moves freely, even though there's not like a bunch of joints, you know? It doesn't have double jointed knees or elbows, but it doesn't even matter. You still get the range that you'd want for a character like this so I think Jada Toys is killing it with the articulation and they do a good job of 
giving articulation to unique figures with unique character designs. So that's awesome to see. But Mega Man does have a lot of fun factor. It's really, it's cool because he looks so dynamic. Any kind of pose you put him in, it just looks fun and action packed. So they killed it with that. And then as far as the design goes, I think Jada Toys did a great job with the sculpt and the paint and all that. I really like that they went with this look for Mega Man because I know there's a lot of different looks for the character. But to me, this seems like the most like basic, like simplified classic quintessential version of Mega Man. I know you know as the games went on the suits got a little bit more uh, you know, extravagant, I guess you could say, or a little bit more complicated, or, you know, more weapons, or blasters, or colors, or whatever, but to me, I just like the simple, like, different shades of blue, kind of almost like a kid, astral boy type of vibe, I think that's, like, my favorite version of Mega Man, to me, this feels like he jumped right out of the cartoon, which is nice, because I remember the cartoon, um, you know, from back in the day, like, when I think of Mega Man, I don't think of the video game first, I think of the cartoon first, but, you know, I was a fan of the video game, too, but it's not really like a franchise that stuck with me throughout the years like Marvel or Ninja Turtles it's just a cool game that I liked back in the day and I still think the character's cool now and that's why Jada Toys figures are perfect for somebody like me because I like a lot of these characters but not enough to get into the more expensive options you know like when it comes to Street Fighter there's SH figure art storm collectibles and it's like yeah those figures look amazing but I don't like Street Fighter enough to get into it but if there if figures are coming out that are high quality at $25 or whatever then you know I'm down for it and same kind of thing goes with characters like this with Mega Man if they ever do Link I'd be totally down for that even though I do have the figma version i got that on sale but yeah the, you know the point still remains is that like i like a lot of these characters but they're more appealing to me if i could buy them for a more affordable price because it's not like i'm a diehard fan i'm more of just like a casual fan i guess you could say but anyways i'm really happy to finally have a classic looking Mega Man for my video game shelf. He's going to look awesome next to Mario, Link, and the Street Fighter figures. So yeah, I think he's a cool figure. Jada Toys absolutely killing it. And you know, at this point, I think they're pretty much untouchable in the $20 to $25 price range. If you compare any of their figures to like another company's figures in that price range, then <laughs> Jada Toys might edge them out almost every single time right now, you know. I think they're straight up killing it. I just can't wait to see what else they do. It seems like they get different like licenses and different brands. They're kind of all over the place with it. Um, but I think it's dope. It's dope to see like a lesser known company come through and deliver such a high quality product at such an affordable price. So yeah, man, Jada Toys is killing it. Um, huge shout out to MCU Collector. He picked this up for me from Frank and Sons in Southern California. When we were down there for Designer Con, he ran off to Frank and Sons and picked up a case of these for the whole squad. So that was very nice of him. Uh, so huge shout out to him. He does have a review for this guy on his channel now. So be sure to check that out. Out. I'll leave a link to that in the description below and with that I think that's it thank you so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff also be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that I go live thank you very much peace